Okay, so let's talk about the measurement button pad. This guy here. We have seen in previous videos that you can click on the information button, this guy over here, and find out information about an individual parcel. So by clicking on this parcel here, I can see that its perimeter is 270 meters and its area is 3,403 meters with, of course, the decimal places. Now, from the measurement tools button, we can do these same measurements using our mouse. So let's have a play with them. We'll start by clicking on the measure line tool. Find a point. Click the left mouse button to start and this little dialog here appears. Click on the left mouse button again. until you've gone right around it. Now, notice how every time I click the left mouse button and change the line direction, a new row appears. Click, keep clicking. I'm only doing it roughly. And right mouse button to finish the measurement. Okay. So what we've got is we've got 269 meters compared to 270. Okay, so it's not quite as accurate. Let's measure this, the area of this block now. We click on the measure area tool and once again we'll start at this point. Click on the left mouse button until I've surrounded the area. And then right mouse click to finish. And we've got 3,431 square metres compared to the area um, attached to the cadastral file of 3,403. So clearly you need to be careful how you use these tools because a geographical information system can give you this false sense of precision. Now because we're using our mouse, we're not going to get a really accurate measurement. And because, unless you can be certain that you're measuring things that have been surveyed by a licensed surveyor, then any measurements in a GIS can be nothing more than an indication. So this is all about the way that the data are collected. Now, quite often, um, Air photo interpretation is the way that these files are put in, in, in many places. Um, and particularly in areas around water features, you know, if the tide's in or the tide's out, uh, can have implications on uh, where the boundaries are placed and a whole bunch of stuff like that. So you just need to understand what you're measuring. But certainly I would never recommend using these sorts of interactive measurement tools for anything other than a guide or, or an indication to, for some of the areas. Now there's also this thing called measure angle. I have never used this functionality before and to be honest I'm not exactly sure what you would use it for. But to use it, you create a start line with your left mouse button. Um, I st did a click to start the line and I'm clicking again to complete the line. Then this dialog comes up and gives you the angle in degrees based on that line that you've just created. And as with the other options, click on the right mouse button to finish the measurement. Anyway, that is the measure button pad.